Boeing, the results are out. Philip Bowe has been looking through them. Phil, what can you tell us? Becky, this is a loss of $1.53 a share. Now, we don't know have a uh, finalized estimate from the street, but we do know that this loss is going to be greater than what analysts were expecting. So a loss of $1.53 a share. Revenue coming in better than expected at $15.21 billion. The street was expecting just over $15 billion. There is one charge in here for $318 million tied in with a supplier. Otherwise, it's a relatively clean set of numbers from Boeing. Let me run down the numbers within the numbers. Core operating loss of $353 million. Operating cash flow, negative $3.4 billion. Free cash flow, negative $3.7 billion. By the way, those two cash flow numbers, roughly in line with what most analysts were expecting. They end the quarter with $21.9 billion in cash and liquidity. The debt level at the end of the quarter, $63.6 billion. And so that is roughly in line with where they were at the end of the fourth quarter. No change in guidance, and they're not announcing any changes in either production rate or manpower. Don't forget, we're going to be talking with Dave Calhoun, CEO of Boeing. That is coming up at 9 a.m. on Squawk on the Street. You do not want to miss what Dave has to say, not only about where the market is right now, but Boeing's efforts to get back to positive cash flow, which still remains the target for 2022. Guys, back to you. Uh, Phil, just looking through the comments from uh, Dave Calhoun right now in the in the release that's out, just talking about how they look at the global pandemic continuing to challenge the overall market environment, but they think 2021 is yep. a key inflection point for the industry overall because of the vaccine rollouts that are continuing to take place. So uh, pretty much an optimistic outlook that, yeah, yeah, things are getting much, much better from here. The big question for Dave is whether or not what you see in India, what you see in parts of Europe and other parts of the world where the pandemic is either flaring up or has just taken hold and will not relinquish its grip, is whether or not that pushes out the timeline for when they expect long haul travel to increase. Most believe it comes back by 23, 24, somewhere in that time frame, and that you start to see the airlines who need to have those large, wide-body aircraft start to reorder planes ahead of that. Does that get pushed out as the pandemic lingers on? One other thing, ask about China. That's what we're going to be doing, guys, because China has not mm -hmm. placed an order from Boeing in at least three years, as far as I can remember. You don't have an order. And, and China's regulator, by the way, has not yet approved the 737 MAX to fly again. That is obviously something that Boeing needs to change, uh, or have changed, I should say, uh, as quickly as possible. So we'll be talking with Dave Calhoun about that as well. Yeah, probably out of Boeing's control with that one. That has more to do with the uh, United States and China and the back and forth that yep. we've been dealing with for years on that one. But, but they yeah, pay the price, sure Becky. Like to see that they, they pay the price. They do. I mean, that is a huge market. They need China. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.